as technology advances, there are newer ways to study as a student. Students nowadays rely less on textbooks mainly because they cost an arm or a leg to afford or maybe they are so heavy they are almost, like, almost the same body weight as you are. So it's like nowadays most students rely on study apps. So in today's video I'll be talking about the top 5 apps that I think will help with effective learning. So please have a look and also please stay to the end because I'll talk about an app I don't think most people use which I think will be really helpful to you as a student. Hey yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The International Medic. So in today's video, I'll be grouping the apps into three major categories. First one being planning and note-taking, second one being active recall, and the final one being productivity. So please stay towards the end and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go. Planning and note-taking. So in this category, I'll be talking about my top two apps for planning and note-taking. So the first one which I would like to talk about is Notion, which I personally use. Um, the app can be used to set reminders, events, planning and note-taking. This is a way of organizing your day-to-day -day activities and preparing for upcoming activities. There's a free version which is available as an app both on phones and desktop. The good thing I like about the app is that I have everything all in one place. I can take notes from lectures, I can set up reminders, I can also um, attach documents, it is um, user friendly, like you can also design it in a way that's appealing to your own level of aesthetics, which is like nice and peaceful. So it's like, it's really lovely and I enjoy it. The downside to it is that you have to set it up, it's a bit up complicated to set it up because it has so many, so many functions. Like I'm just, I just started using it about a couple months ago, but I'm sure I haven't unlocked any I haven't unlocked it to its full potential, especially on the free version. That I can't imagine what it would be like for the um, paid version. So um, yeah, definitely have a look at it. Have a look at YouTube videos that will help you with setting up the Notion app if you do um, enjoy it and if you do want to try it out. The other app I would like to talk about is Notability. This is a note-taking app from the name. Um, you can write down your notes and arrange, and arrange them into subjects and topics. You can organize it in your own certain type of way, making it easy to access due to your notes being organized. It's available on iPhone, um, Mac and iPad. So that's out there for you lot. So hopefully you enjoy it. So the next category is Active Recall. The first app that I will mention in regards to Active Recall is called Anki app. I've already done the full on, not full on tutorial, but I've done like a video that explain that shows me using the Anki app and explains like what the Anki app is. It's like a talk through, uh, talk through video. So if you would like to see that, please click on this link right here. I just skip to the part that says Anki app if you just want to see that only. So yeah, please have a look because it will, it will really be helpful and to explain better than I am currently explaining right now. The Anki app is a flashcard app. I had it on my previous Android phone and I have it right now on my laptop. It is also available on iOS, but you have to pay for that. That's if you obviously if you use an iPhone, which is one of the downsides that I see to it. The other downside to the Anki app is that it looks quite plain. It's like some Windows XP kind of thing, some olden day software. But at the end of the day, it is as long as it does the job, which is reinforcing active learning, then that's all you need to know because it is really a good app. It is very effective. So if you're not a visual learner that you want something appealing to your own aesthetics, then I'll say, um, if you don't really mind about that, then I'll say that the Anki app does the job and it's still good. So if you can afford it, or if you can get the free version, then I'll say, please do, because it is really helpful. And then the other app that I'll be talking about is called the Quizlet app, which is another type of flashcard app that's different from the Anki app. It is more. Um, it is available on iOS and it is also available on Google Play. It is free as well. Um, there's a free version and there's a premium version, the one that you pay for, uh, as most apps um, normally do, or like how most apps normally are. I would say that it is more appealing to the eye for visual learners. So if you're more into visual learning, if you like, if you need something to be more visually um, stimulating before you can actually study on it, then I'll say that Quizlet is um, a better app than Anki in that kind of aspect. Um, so please have a look at all of um, both apps. I think they can, they both have different things to offer and they would be both effective for you when you're trying to study and you know get the active recalling so that you can remember things quicker. 
So this is a quick reminder for you to actually subscribe to my channel, click on that notification bell, like or share the video to add to the people out there because the more people it reaches, the more people would benefit from it. So by liking the video or even commenting or just viewing it or sharing it with your friends, it will actually help um, reach the right demographic of people that would benefit from these videos. So please help a brother out, you feel me? Now let's go back into the video. So let's talk about the final category, which is productivity. One of the major apps that helps improve productivity as a student is the Forest app. This is a very, very popular app among students, mainly because of what it offers. It focuses on the Pomodoro technique. Hopefully I pronounced that right, Pomodoro. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, um, which basically means that you study for a period of time, then you take breaks. Like let's say you set a 20 minute timer, and then you focus for those 20 minutes, then you take a break after the 20 minutes is done or over. Then you go back in and do another 20 minutes. That's basically what the Pomodoro technique is in a simplified way. Um, the first app does this by making sure you stay on the app to study for a certain time. And if you leave the app, you get a notification telling you to return. And if you don't return, your plants will die. And basically, you can also share your forest with your friends that in the sense that each of your friends can track and see your own plants or tree grow and if it dies um, they get a notification so if you're dealing with friends it's kind of like that little competition that hey i don't want my plant to die i'm not going to be the one to mess up so yeah it's kind of fun and interactive so which is one of the key things i guess this is why a lot of students like it as well um, you can also try out hatch um, which is basically the same thing as the forest app but instead you're dealing with animals cute little animals popping out of an egg or coming or hatching out of an egg hence the name hatch so um please have a look for have a look out for them i think they would really really help you out hey so let's say that you're a student right you go into your lecture hall and then basically your lecturer talks and you can tell that they are really smart but you're having a hard time understanding what they are teaching so you come to youtube to actually look for a better way to understand that certain topic now, if, especially if you're a science student, if you came to YouTube looking for information about biology, chemistry, anything, physics, whatever you want to study, you've probably heard of this um, YouTube channel called the Khan Academy channel. And trust me, they are really, really informative. If you haven't heard of them, today's your, today, take this as a sign to go research about them because what they teach you, the way they teach is actually really, really helpful. It actually helped me a lot. Um, it helped me in my A-levels, although um, we all know how that ended up, right? But anyway, the Khan Academy group is that um, YouTube channel is actually really good, and and recently I found out that they have an app. So the bonus app for today is called the Khan Academy app, as you guessed. Um, basically, this app is just a more accessible way of getting all their ready information at the click of your finger. It is also free on Android and iOS. So please, I would suggest that you have a look. And if you ever heard of Khan Academy, well, you know today. So please go out and have a look. You know what, they should pay your boy, you know, I'm actually promoting a lot of businesses here. So, like, share, subscribe, share it out, let, let me get a sponsor for my videos. Take care.